It may look like midwinter, but I assure you it is springtime. The big green hillside at 6am is almost a winter wonderland. When the sun came, so did the warmth and new life. I've said this a thousand times, this is a place I love to be. Every time I'm here, a new adventure, an expedition into the wild. Today I was going to find a proper bucket list of silver coin. Hello, greetings, welcome to another mail detecting expedition. Today I'm back on the big green hillside with my good friend Paul. We've come back to look for some more old coins and some what not. We did try to get here for sunrise, but we failed. It's about half past six in the morning, it's freezing cold. But it feels good to be out in the fresh air, so we'll see what we can find today. Good luck to you, Paul. That's you. There's Paul. He says he's just had a thimble. I've got a lovely signal just here. It really is beautiful morning. It's so cold. Got 88. It's a little bit big, but worth looking at. Just there. It's there. Oh, oh man. It's a modern one P. Bloody spendable modern one pence. Never mind, at least it's a coin. This is a signal I can get behind. 84, it's faint, it's relatively deep, probably going to be lead, but worth looking at. There we go. Has to be lead. Tiny, tiny little button, still got the shank. Yeah, it was pretty deep. Little button. The sun is starting to come up and we will be thrust into sunlight soon. But until then, it's still cold and I've got a signal here. 77 it was, I've dug it, I've opened it and I'm sure I can see something green and round down there. And with those kind of numbers, I would say that it's gonna be Victorian. There we go, look. Oh, it's quite thick. Mmm. Oh, let's clean this up and have a closer look. Well, I think that's George the First. You can just see him facing to the right. I think it's a farthing, it's quite thick. That's almost a really nice coin and I'll probably try and wax that when I get home. The other side seems to be blank. But yeah, it's a really cool find, interesting. Well, as beautiful as spring is, there are sad things that come with spring. This little fella didn't make it, poor guy. that's life unfortunately I have some confidence this might be a shallow coin so crisp solid 80 maybe ah. it's a cow tube second one of the day as always, thank you for joining me today. I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button up there. It'd mean the world to me. Check out some of my other videos as well. Got some really cool content, some amazing finds over the last few months and years. And yeah, thanks very much for coming along today and let's see what we can find. It's always handy having someone else with me that I can film with the drone. Conditions today are absolutely perfect. This is interesting. Listen to that proper squeaky high pitch one there, look, in the 90s. But it's irony as well. Especially here, look. Definitely worth investigating, that is. Nice deep plug just in case. It's 
still in there. Oh my god. Whatever it is, it's out and it looks like an old silver coin. See it? Can I see a date? 1903? Or am I seeing things? Is this Edward the Seventh? Could this be my best ever Edward the Seventh silver coin? I think it might be. Certainly a sixpence look. I can't see that side. Let's have a look at this. That is absolutely beautiful. Silver sixpence. Yeah, it definitely says 1903 or 5, so that's 100% going to be Edward the Seventh. I don't even want to wipe it because I feel like it's going to be a really nice coin. I'm going to go and clean this in the stream. Well, this isn't the first time we've been in the stream cleaning silver finds. Hopefully it won't be the last. There he is, look. It is Edward the Seventh. It looks to be really nice. Not perfect. That is absolutely stunning. As you can see, the date is 1905. I'm absolutely made up with that. I've walked through this little gateway here a million times before. We've had a signal. It's coming in 84. I've dug it. I reckon it's going to be a Victorian penny, but I have no idea. I think it is in here. Oh, it is a coin. It's not. It's my boy, George V. I don't mind that. It's my third pre decimal coin of the day. King George V, half penny. We're not going to get a date off there, but it looks to be 1917, maybe. Very early. There's Paul up there in the spring sun, which is more like the winter sun today. I've just had a huge signal from all the way down there. Big chunk of lead. And I think it's something interesting, some sort of weight. Let's look at the shape of it. It's like a, a bell. almost cone shaped. I think that's some sort of weight. It's perfectly shaped into a cone with a flat bottom. It's got some serious weight to it. Yeah, something different, something interesting. Well, it's meant to be spring, but it's really cold. We've seen five dead lambs today, which is really sad, but we're having a good time. Not really found a great deal so far. We were trying some different uh, different area, I've never been on this bit before, so let's see what we can find up here at the top of this hill. Sometimes it's nice to just sit and relax in the sun. Where else would you rather be? It wasn't long until we were down to our t-shirts. The British climate is all over the shop today. This is my next target, I've already dug it. It was a banging 82. Thought it was going to be trash or a cow tube, but there's definitely something round in there. See it? And it's a decimal half penny, completely toasted. Can you see it? We've got ourselves a little musket ball here. It was a faint 70s kind of number. Dug down, opened the clod, and there it was. This is my next one. 86, 87, I've opened it up, and there's 100% a coin down there. Sounds like Paul's just had a coin up there as well. What have I got here? I think it's going to be George V or Queen Victoria. Let's have a closer look. Well, it's George V, look, half penny. Don't mind that, do I? 
my second one of these of the day already. The date looks like either 1912 or 1919, I can't tell, so it's a very old one. Yeah, that's really cool, dead happy with that. Another pre-decimal coin to go in my collection today. Well, that there is where I had that half penny. I've got another signal here. It's not great, but it could well be another half penny. Be able to get it out now. Oh, oh man, it's lead. Well, it's not lead, it's pewter. I think it's the top of a spoon, but there's some sort of stamp on there. Can't quite read it. Ash, something or other. But, yeah, let's carry on. Well, I've just had this out of the ground. I thought it was a uh, Elizabeth II modern half penny. But it's absolutely wafer thin and weighs absolutely nothing. So I'm really not sure. That side is completely toasted, but there's Elizabeth II, so I'm not sure about that. Weird, very weird. Well, I just opened this one up and saw a glint of silver. Unfortunately, it's not silver. It's a lost dog tag. And the dog was called Bella. Interestingly, the address is about 100 yards down the road. <laughs> Might go and drop it off. Definitely warming up, pulls down to his t-shirt. I reckon I've got a coin spill down here, because I've got an 85 in there and I can see it's big and round and I've got another one just here look 86 let's get in there and have a look is it a big Georgian coin or is it a big penny it's a big penny look probably Victorian you can see the date down there look 1874 so that's going to be Queen Victoria but the other side's a little bit toasted you can't really see it but cool and I reckon I've got more here so let's see what else there is so that there is where I had that Queen Victoria big penny. I've opened up another hole right next to it. I've got something just there, look. Oh, it's another one. Well, this one looks to be George V. So it's a little bit uh, more modern than the Victoria one. Date on it, look, 1917. Excellent, let's have a look, see if there's any more. So that's where I had the first penny, the Victoria one. George V was there. And I've got another one here. That's high 70s, so I suspect that's Victoria again. Just there. Right there somewhere. Oh, I can already see it. Can you see it? Just there, look. And that is gonna be Victoria again. It's a half penny this time. Got some imprint this time, look down there. And there she is. Queen Victoria, looks like a nice early one. Well, it's not that early, look, 1894. Yep, happy with that, three coins. Let's see if there's any more. Well, after a freezing start to the day, spring is in full motion now. Paul and I sat under the warm sun. We got to witness something pretty epic, new life. I've seen two lambs being born this weekend. It's a beautiful thing to see. I told Paul there'd be something down here under this tree. And I had a signal on the surface. I think it's going to be a half penny. Don't know where it went. Oh, it's there, look. Another pre decimal coin. We'll give it a little clean up and see what it is. Well, it's Queen Victoria again, look, but it's not in very good condition. It was literally sat on the roots of the tree. We've got a date on there. Looks like 1887. So, yeah, cool. Another Victorian pre-decimal coin. Happy days. Well, I did tell Paul there would 100% be some coins under this tree. I had a Victorian half penny just over there. I know the signal here is an 84. They've got a silver coin, look. Although it needs a good bath in lemon juice, but that will come up mint. That is a 1925, 50% silver, sixpence, George V. And after a good long soak in lemon juice, that will come up absolutely mint. I'll put money on it. Two silvers. Brilliant. Well, when me and Paul got here, it was two degrees. It was freezing, there was frost and ice everywhere. Now it's about 12, 13 degrees, absolutely red hot. I'm sweating buckets. 
That is the classic British weather for you. I have jumped on his line here, and I think I've got a, well, I know I've got a coin. I've got a little half penny. Queen Victoria again, nice and smooth. Oop. A little bit bent, but it's another pre-decimal coin. This is the next target that I'm going to look at. High pitched, small, 88. That's got to be a coin, surely. This is where I had a hammered coin a few months ago in this patch. Oop, still in there. What do we have in here? Oh, I can see brown. It's going to be a bloody threat new bit, isn't it? My favourite. <laughs> 1938, three pence. Yep, yeah, another pre-decimal coin. I'd rather find three pennies though than one of them bloody things. Well, as I do so often, I was filming myself from up in the sky, getting some lovely B-roll. Got a beautiful signal down here, it's 88. And I'm sure I've got a Georgian copper coin there, look. It's quite thick. I think it could be a William III, you know. Some glorious imprint there, look. I'm going to have a closer look at this, but I think that's a William III half penny. And we'll probably be over 300 years old. Unfortunately, all the detail rubbed off in my fingers, but you can see it says Gvilius up there, which is William. So it's a William III half penny. Tell by the thickness as well. Yeah, very cool. Are you winning, Paul? Are you winning? No. Nah. <laughs> this is something that's interesting. In amongst all these roots down here, have a look at this. Don't think it's silver. I think it's pewter. It looks like some sort of cap or something. Let's have a closer look. What is it? No, I don't think it's anything special. Hmm. That's me and Paul done on the uh, big green hillside for today. We've been here since 6.30 in the morning. It's now about 1 p.m., if not half one. I found a whole lot of pre-decimal coins, the beautiful little silver Edward VII, sixpence, William III, I've had Queen Victoria, George I, all sorts of coins. It's been really good. Uh, but thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting the channel. Thank you to Regton, thank you to Noble MDT and David Pedley, and hope to see you all again on the next episode. Paul's still going, look. Little man over there, look. Go on, Paul. So here's the trash that I found today. All the usual stuff, lead, iron, aluminium, etc, etc. I had a really awesome day, finds-wise. Bunch of copper coins, two lovely silvers. The Edward VII sixpence is quite stunning. A proper bucket list coin. Very rare to find Edwardian silver. The George V sixpence spent 24 hours in lemon juice and as expected it cleaned up like a dream. The George I is a half penny I believe, not a farthing. It may be worn but I love this coin, it's so thick and chunky. The mystery lead item has to be some sort of weight. Lead finds are always weird and wonderful. There are people out there who've been sending me money via PayPal and I'm so so grateful. Uh, it's been so useful to me. So if, if anyone else wants to support the channel, you can go to my homepage and click here, buy me a coffee. Any money that comes in this way will go straight back into the channel, whether it's for recording equipment, t-shirts, other stuff like that. I'm so so grateful for, for everybody's support. So thank you and we'll see you on the next one.